Trump dominated the Iowa caucuses, his performance matching the trends we're seeing in nationwide polls. The first primary is one week away, the general election 10 months away. But already some organizations are preparing for litigation post-election if Trump retakes the White House. These groups say they're preparing to use every tool in the toolbox to fight back against a 2024 Trump victory. There is much speculation into what a Trump second term would look like. Trump had to clarify his remarks about being dictator for a day after headlines made Trump out to be an authoritarian. He said on Truth Social the comments were said in a joking manner. But what he wasn't joking about is potentially using the military to help secure the border on day one. What we learned from the Iowa caucuses is immigration is the number one issue for Republican voters. On the campaign trail, Trump has vowed to use any and all resources needed, including thousands of troops currently stationed overseas. How much Trump will use the military to fulfill his campaign promises is being questioned by his critics. Before it's even known if Trump will get a second term or not, some public interest groups are already looking to prevent Trump's plan by tying it up early in the courts. They're preparing litigation in the case Trump gets reelected and if Trump abuses presidential powers. Democracy Forward is one of those groups. It previously took the Trump administration to court more than 100 times. The president of the organization told NBC News, we are preparing for litigation and preparing to use every tool in the toolbox that our democracy provides to provide the American people an ability to fight back. We believe this is an existential moment for American democracy and it's incumbent on everybody to do their part. This coalition of organizations legally prepping for a Trump second term told NBC they have plans to send letters to Trump appointees, spelling out consequences they would also face if they undermine the Constitution. The executive director of another advocacy group says, we're already starting to put together a team to think through the most damaging types of things that he might do so that we're ready to bring lawsuits if we have to. Presidential powers that have been in place for 200 years, some Democratic lawmakers are looking to peel back out of fears Trump retakes the presidency. The Insurrection Act allows the president to deploy the military in certain emergency situations. Democratic Senator Richard Blumenthal said, there are an array of horrors that could result from Donald Trump's unrestricted use of the Insurrection Act. A malignantly motivated president could use it in a vast variety of dictatorial ways. Polls largely indicate Trump will win the primary. Polls also show a tight race between Trump and Biden, but many give the advantage to Trump. So while there are some fears out there over what a Trump second term looks like, polls indicate that's what half the country intends to vote for.